This is the regular press conference by Minister Hayashi. I have nothing to say from my side. Are there any questions? If you have any questions, please raise your hand. Uh, after you're appointed, please mention your name and affiliation and walk to the microphone. Abe-san, please. Abe from Yomiuri Shimbu. I have a question about the Beijing Olympics. The United States announced that they will go through a diplomatic boycott. What is the understanding of the Japanese government? I am aware of announcement by the American government, but I will refrain from making comments about the responses of individual countries towards the Beijing Olympics. The diplomatic boycott that was mentioned, the actual meaning of this is not necessarily clear. The response of the Japanese government to the Beijing Winter Olympics we will make judgment making a comprehensive consideration of uh, various reasons, various circumstances at appropriate timing, and there's nothing decided so far. In any event, Japan expects that the Beijing Winter Olympics will be held as a peaceful event based on the philosophy of Olympics and Paralympics. Uh, from Yubi, I'd like to ask you another question. As you mentioned, uh, various Circumstances will be taken into consideration in the United States. Human rights, uh, they are focusing on human rights, and they have said in their press conference that uh, I think there was a request to the Minister of Foreign Affairs concerning pers making someone responsible for human affairs. So, human rights. So, under your circumstances, would human rights be included? So, in Japan, the free and basic human rights, uh, respect of that rule of law, which is the universal values uh, in s the international society, we believe that this is very important, that uh, this is guaranteed in China as well. And concerning these Japanese uh, perspectives, we have been approaching China in many ways, directly. So concerning the Beijing Olympics, these will be taken into consideration as well. At an appropriate timing, uh, we will comprehensively take into consideration various measures and make a decision. Next question, please, Aoki-san. Aoki from NHK, I have a question about uh, border measures against COVID-19. If there are any changes in the measures by the government, what would be the grounds for making the decision? The Omicron variant responds to this new variant in Japan. To avoid the worst situation, meanwhile, for one month as preventive measures, you are taking extraordinary, exceptional measures to be sure uh, until the information of Omicron variant is more clear. As for further border measures, we will take into consideration information of Omicron variant and the measures of other countries and uh, consider this together with other relevant government agencies. So I think you, you are preventing people from, uh, foreign people from coming into Japan. Maybe that is to uh, uh, give a sense of comfort. However, I think you will give a wrong message that if pe foreign people don't come, that, that will stop the virus. So can, so can you not give evidence, scientific, something based on scientific evidence? And also from uh, Africa, as well, not only new, re not new entrants, but re-entry is no longer uh, permitted. So the... So they are not able to re-enter Japan. And is there a possibility that the number of countries where you prohibit re-entry will increase? Now, with the Omicron variant of on November 30th and December 2nd, uh, the government has uh, made announcement on various measures. And at this point in time, 10 days quarantine will be required. Uh, 
So concerning uh, the prohibition of reentry from designated countries and regions uh, that is subject to 10 days quarantine for the time being, this is for prevention. This is for emergency measures that these are being taken. And unless there are special circumstances, the reentry uh, can only be permitted with special circumstances. But in any case, the people who can reenter are people who are residing with residential status in Japan and has a certain level of relationship with Japan as well as Japanese nationals, and they have strong relationship with the Japanese society. So through the prohibiting reentry, there may be some impact. And based on that, we will be considering this very cautiously. Next question, please. Kaide from Mainichi Shimbun. The 8th is the 80th anniversary of outbreak of war between Japan and the U.S. What is the evaluation of Japan about the Japanese relations, and what are your views about the future? And Japan of those days was in a stalemate in terms of foreign diplomacy and led to the war that Japan was lost. What are the lessons learned uh, from the judgment made at that time when the war started. And currently, China is challenging international order, and the tension between China and the U.S. is becoming more serious. So how can Japan make use of the lessons that we've learned 80 years ago? 80 years after the start of the law, Japan and the U.S. that fought is law has now a relationship of alliance and the strongest alliance in the world. At the moment, Japan-U.S. Security Treaty was signed and revised, and there were three uh, Japan-U.S. guidelines made, and also legislation for peace and security was developed through efforts of both countries. The alliance became strong. In 2016, President Obama visited Hiroshima and Prime Minister Abe visited Pearl Harbor, which clearly indicated to the world the power of settlement between Japan and the U.S. Security environment surrounding Japan is becoming more severe. Japan-U.S. alliance is the core of the foreign and security policy of Japan, and is important to enhance deterrence and response capability. Also, there are clear attempts to change the status quo using force. It's of Japan's benefit to maintain free and open international order based on the rule of law. And in that sense, cooperation with U.S. and other like-minded countries is becoming more important to secure peace and security in Japan and to realize free and open in the Pacific measures against COVID-19, climate change. We have a lot of issues in front of us, but based on a strong relationship of trust between Japan and the U.S., we want to have close cooperation to respond to such events, which is of utmost importance. So including uh, leaders and ministers, it is essential that we have close communication. And those lessons that we have learned under the global depression, economy was make, were making blocks, and Japan was greatly affected by that. On those times, uh, with a sense of isolation, there was stalemate in terms of diplomacy and economy, which Japan tried to resolve using force, and Japan became a challenger to international order, causing war. From such lessons of the past, no matter what kind of dispute it is, Japan places respect on the rule of law, not to use force, but the principle is to resolve through peaceful and diplomatic means. And Japan also has led the international economic system, which is free, fair, and open, strengthen and support developing countries, and led the global prosperity. So far, Japan is now facing challenges to universal values and international orders that supported peace and prosperity of international community. Based on this value, Japan will further strengthen cooperation with like-minded countries to further maintain and strengthen free and open order. Uh, next question, Norita san please. From Asahi newspaper. Now I would like to talk about uh, ask about the boycott. Now the United States has uh, 
said that they have strong concerns concerning human rights issues in China in diplomatic boycott of the Olympic Games. So concerning the human rights infringement in uh, China, what is your view on that? Well, I've been talking about that many times as well, as you mentioned. So we have been directly uh, saying this. With the OG in the uh, foreign minister's meeting as well, we have directly concerned that communicated our concern. Next question, Tanaka san, please. Uh, Tanaka from Jiji Tsushi. About the measures to the Beijing Winter Olympics, I have another question. The United States, through diplomatic rules, has uh, noticed other countries that U.S. will not send official delegation. And Prime Minister Kishida said that Japan will make its judgment based on our position. So is our judgment taking into consideration the notification by the U.S. or will be a, its own determination? As for Japanese government, as I have mentioned, at appropriate timing going forward, uh, various situations will be considered in a comprehensive manner to make a judgment. And as for prior notification between Japan and the US, on a daily basis in various sectors, we have close cooperation. So I will refrain from making comments about each diplomatic comments. Maeda san, please. Yeah, Maeda from Kyoto, Tsushin. Concerning Myanmar, Aung San Suu Kyi was convicted. I would like to ask about that. The, the special uh, court uh, by the military, she has been uh, sentenced to four years imprisonment, and the Western countries are saying that this is unreasonable. So what is the view of the Japanese government? Well, yesterday, Aung San Suu Kyi as well as President Wing Ming. Uh, for each, uh, there was in four years imprisonment that uh, ruling was handed down. And uh, I, believe, I believe that uh, the Myanmar government has reduced this sentence by two years. Uh, ever since the coup d'etat has, has been carried out to Myanmar, we have been asking for immediate uh, stop of violence and also inclusive of San Suu Kyi to release the people who have been deterred. And also the uh, fast uh, recovery of the democratic uh, political regime. And uh, this ruling, while Japan and the rest of the international society demands for uh, democratic uh, politics of Myanmar, it is not uh, preferable. So together with ASEAN and uh, collaborating with the international society, we would like to continue to and move towards the improvement of this situation. Next question, please. Going from Hokkaido, Shinbun. About Russia. I have a question about a new scheme to be introduced in Russia based on the Russian law. About the term of the uh, tax exemption, uh, it was announced that uh, it will be of a term of 20 years. So what are the views of Japan on this? Based on the Russian law, including the four northern islands and this region, the preferential treatment system related to economic development in these areas uh, is said to be introduced and is widely inviting Japanese companies and third party com companies to be involved in such economic developments. These conflicts with Japan's position on the four northern islands and with the objective of joint economic activities in the four northern islands, which have been discussed uh, between the two leaders. Japan's position have repeatedly been mentioned to Russia so far in a way that this will not damage the legal position of both parties and to realize joint economic activities, we'd like to conduct constructive talks with Russia. Next question, Sushiro san, please. Uh, good morning, um, Sushiro from Indonesia. 
uh, concerning the abduction issue. In 2002, from North Korea, the five abduction victims and Charles Jenkin through Jakarta, Indonesia, who went back to Japan. And at that time, the Indonesia side said that they, they were uh, very happy to be able to help Japan. Last week on Friday, Haya Minister Hayashi had a telephone conference with the foreign minister in Indonesia. And one of the topics for discussion was concerning this abduction issue. Continued understanding and cooperation was requested. So I would like to confirm. Now concerning abduction issue, Indonesia, for Japan, for the victims, should help work to uh, work on North Korea once again. Is that what you're saying? Now concerning abduction, in addition to appealing directly uh, with North Korea, through various high-level opportunities to various countries, we have been repeatedly explaining the Japanese position concerning this abduction issue, and we have received uh, support and understanding from many countries. Uh, with Indonesia as well, as was just mentioned, on the third of this month, there was a foreign minister's telephone meeting, and I requested to Foreign Minister Retno uh, for understanding and cooperation concerning this abduction issue. So that, uh, the abduction issue, resolving this, is the utmost priority for this current administration. Now, uh, concerning the individual cooperation, I will not go into detail, but inclusive of Indonesia, we would like to continue uh, to collaborate closely with the international society so that we will be able to see uh, the quick uh, return of the abductees uh, to Japan. Any other questions? Yes, Maeda san. Maeda from Kyodo Tsushin. I have a question about the host nation support of the U.S. military. This used to be called Omoyari Yosan in the past. And what is the government's view about the naming of this support as the government? The security environment surrounding Japan is becoming more severe, and these expenses play an important role in securing smooth and effective operations of the U.S. forces in Japan, which are essential for the Japanese security. And based on that, we have been calling this HN as host nation support. We have not positioned these as a omoi yari yosan. Next question, Akasan, please. Yomiuri. Now, face, uh, I would like to ask about the significance of face to face diplomacy. At the WTO, there was a ministerial meeting, and that was postponed. And uh, the face-to-face -face diplomacy was about to return, but because of all the Omicron variants, uh, there are some constraints now. And there's G7 foreign ministers meeting that is expected. So to have direct meetings uh, amongst ministers of different countries, what is the significance of face-to-face -face diplomacy? Now, under uh, COVID-19, before there are various constraints, basically face-to-face -face diplomacy was the core. And from that perspective, uh, under the constraints due to COVID-19, this is no longer possible. Um, so instead, uh, we have meetings via telephone and video conference as well. So the, even if you compare against telephone conference and video conference, there are expressions and not only the content of the uh, discussions, but there is a lot of information that can be gained through looking at the expression. And video is better than telephone in that perspective. So if we have, are able to get meet face to face, then we will be able to gain even more information. And we 
the trust relationship between ourselves can be enhanced. So we believe that the importance of face-to-face -face, uh, diplomacy is extremely important. Any other questions? Yes, please. And you should from Radio France again. Uh, there are many foreign students who cannot enter Japan, and many people are now giving up. For foreign students, do you have any message to them? Unless there are special and exceptional circumstances from more countries and regions, new entries of non-Japanese are now being interrupted. With the Omicron variant, new entrants based on special circumstances, based on individual situations, this will be limited only to cases where it is really judged to be necessary to enter Japan in this timing. Because of this strict operation, not limited only to foreign students, but even those who are allowed to enter because of special circumstances, their uh, new entries are now being interrupted. That is the current situation. As I have mentioned, for about one month, to be prepared to the worst situation, this is uh, extraordinary uh, special measures. I ask for your understanding. Uh, thank you very much. With this, we'd like to end today's meeting. Thank you.